This is Cameron Chai from azom.com and I'm speaking to Bob Burton from Spectro who's going to walk us through their Spectro Midex Micro X-Ray Fluorescent Spectrometer. Hi, this is the Midex 3. It's the third generation of the Midex Microanalyzer. Uh, what we have here is uh, a, a variable microspot, so anything from 0.2 to 4.4 millimeter diameter. And it's used in a variety of things like uh, so ROS screening, mapping, um, the new toy regulations looking for lead and uh, in toys, bromine and flame retardants, things like that. Also for things like uh, crime scene analysis, uh, investigations, forensics, that sort of thing. It's also very, very good for uh, and widely used in, uh, in uh, the XRF analysis of precious metals. What we're going to do today is have a quick show uh, how we analyze uh, a circuit board. The best thing to make the snow is to just get the circuit board on the system and start it running show you how it actually works. So what we have here is a circuit board. What we're going to do is analyze it, see if it's got lead in it. Very simple. This system is actually characterized by the simplicity of the software. So put the sample on the platform, go to the software and press start. So we initialize the camera. And what we're going to do is move the platform and the sample under the camera, get it into focus, find a point to now analyze and then go. So we'll turn on the laser. Start the sample moving in. The beautiful thing about the software is it's very, very simple to use and it's very, very fast. The Midex is, in fact, the fastest scanning microanalyzer on the XRF marketplace. So what we see now with the sample, we see the circuit board coming into view on the camera and we'll see a laser spot. When the laser spot is in the crosshairs, the sample is focused. When we're happy with the focus, lock the Z position. Then we'll scan the whole sample, ask the system to scan the sample. Not yet, I'm not there yet. So we're going to say where the sample is. Ask it to scan, it'll scan the sample. At the moment it's only on the camera, we haven't turned any x-rays on yet. When we're ready to turn the x-rays on, we'll shut the door, take a last look at the sample, then we can go. So at this stage we can shut the door. We see there's an observation point where we can still see what's happening if we wanted to. And when we're ready to run, we can still see it moving around, and mapping the, uh, the board. Before we are allowed to turn the x-rays on, we'll now have to close the door fully. So we can see the sample there. Next stage, we're just going to pick the sample that we're going to analyze. Let's pick a point. So, let's go here. And let's just uh, add a point scan here. So let's say, okay, let's have a look at this uh, solder point. Where are we? And that will be it. At this stage, all I have to do, if I'm happy with that, is just press next and it'll start to run. What would the sample look like when we're running it? Well, we get a spectrum. And that's what the spectrum would look like. On this one, we're looking for lead and tin in solder. This is an old circuit board, and what we've noticed straight away is these very high tin uh, peak here, but this very, very high lead concentration. So this is, in fact, a leaded solder. If we were looking for lead-free solder, this has just failed the test. When we look at the results, this is exactly what we see. We see lead at 99%. Uh, so that is a lead solder. And if we're looking to try and find lead-free solder boards, uh, this has failed. It's as easy as that. All right, Bob, thanks for showing us through the Midex Micro X-ray Fluorescent Spectrometer. Thanks, Cameron.